Good morning, good morning, everyone. If you would, are able to, can you stand with us as we sing to our Lord and Savior this morning? Oh, heaven. 
Amen. God's love is amazing, isn't it? Revelation chapter 4 reads, After this I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne. And he who sat there had the appearance of jasper and carnelian, and around the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and seated on the thrones were 24 elders clothed with garments with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder, and before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was, as it were, a sea of glass like crystal. And around the throne, on each side of the throne, are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second creature like an ox, the third creature like the face of a man, and the fourth like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them had six wings, are full of eyes all around within, and day and night, day and night, they never cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to Him who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before Him who is seated on the throne and worship Him who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. And this one that was seated on the throne that the Apostle John saw in his vision, this one seated on a throne who created all things and holds all things together, is none other than the God that we come and worship today. The same God that is worshipped on a throne in heaven is the same God that we worship today as a body of believers. The same God that sits on a throne bids us come into His presence, not based upon our righteousness, but based upon the righteousness of His Son, Jesus. So we don't come to Him with our sin and our guilt We don't come to Him with our failures and our weaknesses. We come to Him with a robe of righteousness that covers all of our sin if we have faith in Christ. We come to Him with a robe that has covered all of those failures. So when God the Father looks at us, He doesn't see our sin. But by our faith in Jesus, He sees the righteousness of His Son, and He bids us to come. So if you're here this morning, and you're hurting... The Father on the throne bids you come. If you're here today and you're struggling, or you're frustrated, or maybe God feels far from you, in this moment right now, the Father looks upon you with favor if if you've received the robe of righteousness that Jesus offers through His death, His burial, and His resurrection. And so the offer is come. Come as you are. Fall before the King. Be in His presence, be healed, and worship Him. That's what we do this morning. So will you pray with me? Father, we are so grateful to find ourselves in the presence of the one on the throne. Father, my first prayer this morning is that as we find ourselves in Your presence, God, that our response would be worship because we recognize who You are. We recognize how amazing You are. And as we see a scene, Lord, just a glimpse of a scene in the throne room of heaven, God, I pray that we would in some level reflect that today, 
here on earth. And we would recognize that we are in your presence and that our response would just be adoration of you, our King. God, I thank you for salvation that comes through knowing Jesus. I thank you that Jesus, through faith, removes our sins as far from us, as far as the east is from the west, the scriptures say. And so, Lord, it is in this truth, it is in this good news, this gospel that we find ourselves celebrating, um, not ourselves, but you. So, God, I pray that the truth of the gospel would bind our hearts together with one another, God. Pray that the truth of, of, of the gospel would bring this church together, Lord, as, as Paul said, with one mind and one spirit. God, as we hear your word preached today, God, I pray that our hearts would be so open. God, I pray that we wouldn't be the same. I pray that the message that Pastor Paul gives would be from you, filled with your spirit, changing us, God. And then, Lord, my final prayer is that this church would be different and that this church would be a light in this community. It is a dark world, and we know that. So I pray that we would shine bright. In Jesus' name, amen. Please stand with us as we sing our next song.
talks about how um, Christ is our all in all, and he's our joy and our salvation. So um, let's just sing the song as it talks about how Christ is enough for us. There's nothing 
Trumpet sound. 